Hi there, this is Jane here from Crystal Sparkles Readings. Um, just here to actually flick through the wisdom of the Oracle cards. So I did a broadcast yesterday and um, have been processing the video to put up on YouTube. And the actual cards have not come through very clearly. So I'm just going to go through the cards, just flick through them so that the camera has an opportunity to focus on them. So we're going to do them quite slowly so that you can see. So this is the blessed card. And the time to go card. The regeneration card. It's the card. The camera actually spends quite a lot of time focusing backwards and forwards, so I'm just going to flick through them slowly. And this is the go the distance card. And the poised card. Don't know why the camera actually keeps refocusing i'm not sure why it does it but i'm just going to go through them slowly so it gets a little chance to actually focus on each of the cards so you can see them and this is the no place like home card like that one a lot and the um milk and honey which is the real kind of abundance card in the deck it's really pretty nice rainbow and anything that has cute little elephants in it i always really enjoy so let's just pop this next one down this is the mending card okay and the Come to the edge card talks about taking a bit of a risk I think it's quite nice these are really lovely images um, so I just wanted to show them because they they really are lovely um, this is never-ending story and to be fair it talks about fairness it's a bit like justice um, you can see the, the scales there and the balance, quite similar to the tarot in some ways, These some of these cards, they have the similar messages, they're just a little bit like I was saying in the previous video, uh, video a bit more gentle, maybe not quite so much in your face. Uh, this is the new life card, the co-creation card, it talks about manifesting with the universe, working with the universe to create what you want. Um, this is the soulmates card um if you kind of know anything about penguins you'll know that they kind of make for life a bit like swans um so very very apt use of animals the chop wood card kind of um feel like that's quite practical I obviously haven't read through the book or anything yet but just from my energy with that chop chopping wood talks to me about being practical making practical steps to make things happen taking action um so it's quite a speaks for itself really and this is about your own inner knowledge your inner wisdom you know you've got the, the owl in there the deep knowing card this is the thinker kind of speaks for itself really this is the a leg up this is kind of like the helpful person card somebody giving you a helping hand um, really beautiful polar bears and you've got this this is almost like two of cups like the two of cups the loyal heart the true love all of those things come with this card um, really lovely owls uh, the chaos and conflict card and that is quite chaotic you've got half a giraffe half a zebra all going on there that's the yin card 
No doubt the Yang card will be around in a, in a second or two. This is the Between Worlds card. So when you're kind of in that place where you're in between and you're not sure and you're backwards and forwards and you're kind of really not sure whether you're in the real world, whether you're in, you know, too much in your spirit energy. Um, quite interesting cards. This is the Higher Power card. It's talking about your spiritual guidance, your guides, angels, various deities, all of those kind of things, whatever that means to you. Okay. This is the orphaned card. This is a little bit like, um, you know, sometimes the, the hermit can be a bit like that, a bit like loneliness, um, being a bit isolated, those kind of things. But actually, can also give you an opportunity to become very, very self-reliant and very, um, you know, inward looking, looking at your inner wisdom. This is the not for you card, which talks about you maybe needing to step away from something that is um, not that healthy for you. Okay. I like this very much. It talks about going to the sea and... Um, it's a really, really, really beautiful card. I love these Colette Baron Reed cards. Um, that's why I just wanted to flick through this deck properly because the last time I flicked through it, the focus was terrible. Um, so just having a real general look at these for the just to go through them and just see what they're like. They are beautiful, very, very lovely pastel colours. Um, I like the energy of them. They're very gentle. They're very soft. Um, obviously they have some you know messages that are not easy sometimes but it, they're given with gentleness so I really like them this is the tribe card this is the treasure island my favorite um, all about abundance all about you know taking that abundance on board and you know having having your box of treasure and this is the unfinished symphony uh, something in your life that may not be finished, it may not be complete, you may feel like you've got unfinished business. This is the Yang card. No, it wouldn't be far behind the Yin card. This is the Peace card. Very beautiful. Like the Peaceful Green. All of that lovely energy of you. So you've got your, your dove in there. Like a lot of the animal symbolism in here is lovely. Um, time for a nap and you've got your little fox all curled up in there beautiful beautiful cards this is the round and round we talked about this yesterday the spiral um, very symbolic energy with spirals the happy happy card enchanting gifts really really beautiful love this card The Serendipity card. The By the Book card talks about processes, talks about learning, talks about making a strategy, all of those kind of things. Change it in the wind. Fork in the road. This is a bit like the Decisions card. Um... Or well, the two of um, two of swords, where you're talking about making decisions and choices. So, very very interesting cards. The truth be told, love the owls. They're so cute. The flexible card. It's asking you to be flexible. It does what it says on the tin, really. This is the message in the bottle. And the all that glitters the fates the breathe card these really are very very beautiful I'm really hoping that the um, focus is better this time round This is the Y card. This is the here and now. Just 
hoping that we'll be able to see these properly. The Imagine card. Clean up card. <laughs> Sometimes we need to declutter and that's what this card is all about. And the final one that I've come here to finish off with is the Building Blocks card. So really hope that that's, that was a little bit clearer this video. Um, I'm aware that the other one was very, very, very shaky and the camera kept refocusing. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this one's been better. Thanks very much for watching and bye for now.